Good afternoon, and welcome to the Spring 2023 Commencement Ceremonies for the College of Technology at Pittsburgh State University, specifically honoring the graduates of the School of Technology and Workforce Learning. I am David Hogard, the Director of Academic Advising here at Pittsburgh State, your MC for today's events. I remember, remember that this event belongs to our graduates. This is their moment. Please assist us in making certain the focus stays on their achievements by turning off or silencing your cell phones at this time. If you are walking with your graduate, please stay together with them and their other guests as you wait on the track and once we begin the processional. We'd like to extend our gratitude to those working behind the scenes to make this event happen for our graduates, particularly the physical plant team that keeps our facilities clean, safe, and beautiful. Pittsburgh State University is a tobacco-free campus. Use of any tobacco product, either inside or outside of our buildings, is prohibited. In accordance with the Kansas State Fire Marshal regulations, we ask that you take a moment to identify the two emergency exits closest to you. Thank you for your cooperation as we provide a memorable commencement experience for our graduates. And now, if you are in the Plaster Center, please direct your attention to the mezzanine on the west end. Or, if you're in John Lance Arena, please watch the video board. You will hear from our Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs, Dr. Howard Smith, and our President, Dr. Dan Shipp. Good afternoon and welcome. We extend our congratulations to our candidates for graduation who have worked very hard for this moment and to their guests both here and watching online. This is a celebration and we are honored to be part of it. Candidates, this is a moment you've been working for, working toward since your first, your first enrollment here at Pittsburgh State University. This afternoon we celebrate you and honor those who helped you reach this milestone. It's an important moment in your lives but also in the lives of those that care about you most, and that's what today is about. Earning a college degree is an extraordinary accomplishment, and we celebrate that. But we also celebrate the person that you've become and the person you'll be in the future. The foundation you've built at Pittsburgh State will serve you for the rest of your life, no matter how your journey unfolds. Two of your fellow graduates, this year's outstanding seniors, Taylor Bryans and Kale Chapman are starting that journey alongside you. Please turn your attention to the video board to hear from them. First of all, I would like to say a massive congratulations to all of the graduates today. Take a moment to appreciate and celebrate this moment. Your tireless effort and relentless persistence has finally paid off. And I would like to express a genuine thank you to all of our supporters. The generosity, sacrifice, and love that you have shown us is unparalleled. A special thank you to my mom and dad in particular. But graduates, this isn't the end. In fact, this is really only the beginning. In this upcoming chapter in your lives, there is a blank page, ripe with possibilities. The journey to earning your degree demanded kindness, diligence, and curiosity. And the future that you and God will author requires that too. Graduates, I will leave you with a final thought. If you were assured success, what would you write into your story? Graduates, Pitt State has prepared us to succeed. Go forth with the confidence that you do have the power to make a difference. Hello, class of 2023. It's my honor to have the privilege of speaking to you all on this monumental day. Congratulations on your impending graduation. This is a huge milestone in each of our lives and you should be very proud of all of your many accomplishments. All of us came to Pittsburgh State University with hopes and dreams of becoming better, more well-rounded people. And over the course of the last several years, we've done just that. Throughout all the ups and downs, we never gave up. We switched from learning in person to online learning and then back to in-person learning again. We found alternate strategies to engage with our professors and peers. 
we developed new ways to keep the bonds with our friends and community strong. No matter how many curveballs we were thrown, we rose to the challenge and found success. That speaks volumes about who we are and what we can do. The world has had its turn to shape us, and now it's our turn to shape the world. Each of you possess unique and valuable skills that you have developed during your time here. Your skills are now needed to make our communities better places for everyone. Each one of us has an important role to play, and I have the utmost confidence that each and every Pitt State graduate will serve their roles with pride and excellence. So go out and keep doing what you do best. Keep learning and keep improving. Go Rillas. Thank you, Taylor and Kale. You represent a special class of gorillas, and we are excited and look forward to seeing what you achieve. I'd also like to extend a special congratulations today to the military service members and veterans earning their degrees. We welcome military families supporting our graduates and celebrating their achievements, too. To all of you, we owe you a debt of gratitude for your sacrifice for enabling Pitt State to be a part of your commitment to your country and to your future. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize our incredible faculty. Their life's work is to turn out capable, informed citizenry. And today's bittersweet moment for them as they say goodbye to you and wish you well in your future endeavors. Can we please pause to acknowledge the work that you all did together? And now, on behalf of the faculty and staff at Pittsburgh State University, congratulations to the class of 2023. Now we come to the momentous part of the ceremony, the conferring of the degrees by our president, Dr. Dan Shipp. President Shipp, these candidates have met all the requirements for their respective degrees and have been approved by the faculty. I present them to you for the conferring of their degrees. By virtue of the authority granted to me by the Board of Regents and the State of Kansas, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I now confer upon each of you the appropriate degree, the requirements of which you have fulfilled, and do hereby best each of you with the rights and privileges pertaining to that degree. You may now move your tassel from right to left. It's official, you are now Gorilla alumni, and you know what we say. Get ready, graduates. Once a Gorilla, we're going to do that one more time. Once a gorilla, on behalf of the faculty and staff of Pittsburgh State University, and for the more than 70,000 gorillas around the globe, congratulations, graduates, and best wishes for a bright and successful future. I now present the class of 2023. Thank you, Dr. Smith and Dr. Ship. Soon joining us in the processional is the platform party ready to shepherd you through this milestone achievement. Included are myself, President Dan Ship, Provost Howard Smith, Dean of the College of Technology, Dr. Bob Frisbee, and our Registrar, Melinda Rolfs. As you enter John Lance Arena, you will also see faculty from the College of Technology here to congratulate you and share in your experience. We will honor our graduates by reading the name of each student who crosses this stage this afternoon. We will also list every spring 2023 graduate from the School of Technology and Workforce Learning in the recording of this ceremony posted to pittstate.tv. And now, would the marshals direct the candidates to move toward John Lance Arena to receive their diplomas.
We now recognize spring 2023 undergraduate degree candidates for the College of Technology School of Technology and Workforce Learning. Zachary J. Cam. Logan S. Doring. Elizabeth M. Green. Second Lieutenant DeMarco E. Romine. Alexa A. Barnhart. Sean Longan. Zach Alt. Lauren E. Treese. Brianna M. Wood. Grace Lucine Burns. Connor L. Jennings. Magna Cum Laude. Dawson J. Essery, summa cum laude. Danielle K. Henry. Julie A. Taylor Burney. Amber B. Heydrich. Isaac J. Lindsay. Sadie G. Meyer. Ross W. Laidler. Tyler D. Wayland. Hayden D. Zaccarello. William D. Hill, cum laude. Hunter J. Cadu. Chrissy D. Miller. Amda Rahman Jarwan, magna cum laude. Kenton Nguyen. Abigail D. Rogers, magna cum laude. Emily Graham. Colleen Boyd. Deborah A. Thomas.
Joseph R. George, magna cum laude. Luke Wolgamot. Destiny Joe Russell. Hunter R. Thompson, cum laude. Chloe M. DeYoung, cum laude. Abigail L. Bush. Jordan C. Bridget, cum laude. We now recognize spring 2023 graduate degree candidates for the College of Technology, School of Technology and Workforce Learning. Shalane Blazik. Michael E. Levy with honors. David Ferguson.
Logan Sisson with honors. Mason J. Cook with honors. Matthew L. Golubsky with honors. Corona I. Martin. Bethany Ann Murphy with honors. Axa L. Clark with honors. Shelby Ann Denton with honors. Sashawn A. Shaw with honors. Charity E. Coker with honors. Lydia Winters. Sarah Sifaloi Lefotu Letts. Raja Mahan Reddy Kamasani. Pasaru Rahu Reddy. <laughs> Deep T Kota with honors. Ragava Rao Koduri. Laxmi Alikaya Anarapul. The graduates you saw this afternoon join over 1,100 of their classmates in celebrating their graduation today. 
We applaud their perseverance and determination to complete their college degree, and they now enter the world as gorillas. This concludes our commencement exercises for spring 23 graduates of the School of Technology and Workforce Learning at Pittsburgh State University. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2023.